Okay, everyone, welcome back to our uh, political science class. So this is the second session today. In the morning, we discussed about the differences between the liberal philosophy and the socialistic philosophy related with the uh, equality. Okay, so we know that uh, socialism is a philosophy that basically struggling or trying to create economic equality, economic equality in the society, then their belief is nothing but if economic equality is existing in the society, definitely it can delete or it can wipe away all other sort of uh, inequalities from the society. Okay. But the liberal ideas are different. Liberal ideas are uh, different. They are against uh, not giving equal opportunity to everyone. So as per them, Democracy is able to solve the problem of uh, political inequality, political inequality, and uh, want to give opportunity for each and every individual, or want to fight against the social inequality and the political inequality, sorry, economic inequality separately and differently. Okay, that's what the idea of uh, liberal. Okay, liberals. Okay, they are the free thinkers. They are the free thinkers. The liberal ideology and uh, socialistic ideology. Okay. Now I am going to discuss, or we are going to start discussion on a particular topic called uh, "How can we promote equality?" How can we promote uh, equality? Okay. So one thing is pending there. I already told you, you people, to read uh, and understand uh, this entire area. I mean, feminism. Okay. Want to discuss that? Want a discussion on this particular topic? Is that clear or not? Tell me. Okay. If it is not so, we'll discuss again one more time. Okay, fine. So because this chapter is there for the examination, MCQ test there, right? So I will discuss this too. Okay, so feminism is a political doctrine of equal rights for women and men. Women and men. Okay, no doubt in that. So feminism is nothing but a, it's a political doctrine, a philosophy of equal rights for women and men. Okay, who believe that many of the inequalities we see in society between men and women are neither natural or nor necessary and can be altered so that both women and men can lead, lead free and equal lives. Okay, so the people, those who believing in the equality of men and women, they are coming this nothing but, okay. All these inequalities are created by the society, created by the society, okay. It is not natural. This division is not a natural division and it is not necessary. And this division is a not necessary. Okay, the division between men and women, that is not necessary also. So according to feminist, we know that who is a feminist. Men or man or a woman, he or she is working for upliftment of social condition of women in the society, basically the term as feminist. So a feminist, inequality between men and women in society is the result of a patriarchy, patriarchy. They're not even patriarchy. Male dominated society or giving importance for man in the family. Okay, man or men in the family. So that is called to be a patriarchal system. Patriarchal system. Opposite of that, matrilineal. What is that? Matrilineal. Okay. Women's and their uh, families. This term refers to a social, economic, and a cultural system that values men more than women and gives men power over women. Over women. So this this is the answer for the term patriarchy. Patriarchy. What is that? So this term refers to a social, economic, and cultural system. We are here, providing values for men more than women and gives men power over women. Power over women. That's what patriarchy. So patriarchy is based on the assumption that men and women are different by nature. So already we know that uh, this division is not a natural division, but the people believing so it is nature and that this difference justifies their uh, unequal position in the society. So people believing or the society believing that uh, this division is a natural division. So everyone justifying this discrimination in the society or caste based division, in the, sorry, gender based division in the society. Okay, so feminist questions that this way of thinking by making distinction between sex, that is biological difference between men and women and gender, which determine the different roles that men and women play in the society, in the society. So biological differences are there, we know that. So this division in the society, it is something more than this biological division, okay. Basically, we can say that gender bias is there, gender bias is there. So society is determining what are the role of uh, women in the society and what are the roles of men in the society. So it is a responsibility to society. Are you thinking so? Not at all, right? Okay. 
So the several years we are following this uh, same, uh, what you can say, gender division. Okay, it's not changing. Okay, there is no change for that. But uh, the feminists are trying to make a change for this kind of beliefs there. For instance, the biological fact that only women can become pregnant and uh, bear children does not require that only women should uh, look after children after they are born. Okay, so we know that biologically only women can give birth to kids there. Okay, so it is not their own or only responsibility to uh, look after the kids there. So feminist shows us that much of the inequality between men and women is produced by society and not by nature, not by nature. So ideology of the feminists is nothing but uh, they are committing that or they are uh, giving this command. What is that? Uh, okay, the division is uh, not natural, but uh, it is socially created. Society is, create, is a uh, group, uh, they created this kind of a uh, distinction. So patriarchy produces a division of labor by which women are supposed to be responsible for private and domestic matters. Okay, household affairs, household affairs. While men are responsible for work in the public domain. Okay, so men, their life is basically connected with the public domain. Feminist questions this distinction by pointing out that in fact, most women are also active in public domain. So feminists are arguing that uh, women also can participate in the public domain or public sphere or uh, politics too. Okay, that is most women all over the world are employed in some from some from of work. Some sorry, some form of work outside the home. So women they are also uh, able to do number of different types of uh, occupation outside the home. But women continue to be solely responsible for uh, household as well. But most of the women, they are not ready to do that. Uh, they are thinking themselves that they are not fit to do that. Okay, fit to do such kind of jobs. There. However, despite this double burden as feminist term it, women are given li little or no say in decision taken in the public domain. So we can say that, okay, there is a, a double burden is for a uh, woman there. However, despite this double burden, double burden as feminist term, it uh, women are given little or no say in the decision taken in the public domain. So family, uh, if they want to look after the family, same time they have to participate in the public domain, public domain there. Okay, right or not. Feminists contended that this public-private distinction and all forms of gender inequalities can be, should be eliminated. So women, we know that the women, basically they are doing some particular jobs in the public sector or uh, any government job or a private job rather than the household activity. They have to do two activities. One is they have to look after the family, right? Clear or not? All the household works they have to complete. At the same time, they have to do the job in the uh, office or in the administrative uh, wings also in the government, right or not? So double button is there always for the women. So the feminists are always arguing that they want to eliminate this kind of problem from the society, want to eliminate this kind of uh, distinction from the society. That's all about uh, feminism. There are a number of one mark answers are there, okay? One marker answers are there. What are these one marker answers there? Who is a feminist? Here? And what is feminism? Okay, what is patriarchal society? Okay, clear. Like there are various questions are there, chances are there for us in the examination. Just to read this properly, understand that it's properly. Okay. Okay, now we are going to page number 44. How can we promote equality? Promote equality. So it is clear for we people, equality is important. Equality is uh, important to lead a dignified life in the society. Okay, dignified life in the society. We need a respectful life, right, right or not? Respectful life in the society. Everyone want to respect us at the same time. We want to respect others also. So here are... Here in the textbook, we are able to find a number of uh, remedial measures that are there to promote equality or solve the problem of inequality. We have already noted some of the basic differences among the social socialist and the liberal. So we know that the differences between the socialist ideology and the liberal ideology on equality. On equality, what is the difference? What is the different? Tell me, anyone? Tell me what is the difference between the socialist idea and uh, liberal idea? Who can? The socialists say, uh, the idea of socialists is to uh, divide the resources equally in the society. Correct. And, and the liberals say that uh, to the as competition as the means to acquire the position. 
hmm. competition. So socialism, uh, they're basically giving importance for uh, uh, establishing economic equality, economic equality, all right, by providing the resources equally among the people, all right. But the liberal says that the competition is necessary. Competition is uh, necessary. Okay. So democracy can maintain political equality, but for uh, maintaining economic and the social equality, competition is necessary. The government want to provide uh, a situation, okay, for attaining this type of uh, equality that's what the liberals idea liberals uh, idea competition is necessary so people can achieve position or achieve their goals uh, by using their talents okay okay so that's it while the relative merits and the limitations of each of these points of view are being debated with the world over so socialist ideology and liberal ideology on equality today it is discussed by different groups of people even today we also discussing the same we still needed to consider that principles and policies might be considered necessary for pursuing equality. So there are a number of principles are there uh, that we want to consider to establish equality in the society. Okay, specifically, sorry, specifically, we needed to consider if the use of affirmative action is justified for purposes of bringing about equality this issue so affirmative action means positive actions is justified so all the positive actions are justified uh, for establishing equality or bringing about equality this issue has raised a lot of controversy in recent years and we will discuss this issue in the following section okay so all the activities that what we are doing to bring equality is can be justified it can be justified okay but at the same time controversies also are there okay we need discussion or do we need to uh, discuss such points such a uh, points okay what are the steps we can take to solve the problem of inequality if all those steps are good for the society or not okay that kind of questions are there for we people first of all establishing formal equality formal equality formal equality in the sense of by the law the first step towards bringing out equality, of course, ending the formal system of inequality and privileges. What do you want to do? You have to end uh, inequality in the society and the privileges that enjoying by a group of people in the society. Privileges. What do you mean privileges? Privileges. Privileges. Some group of people, they are always, okay. So we know that, we know that. Basically, we want to understand one thing there. So how a, uh, a rich class is formulating or a, they are uh, existing in a society? How the rich people? Hmm? How the distinction has come? Or how can we uh, divide the society into rich and poor? And how the rich people are existing there? What is the reason behind that? So rich people, we know that as per the socialist idea, okay, the government is allowing them to utilize the resources, utilize the resources, right or not? Yes or no? Okay, this is a socialist ideology. What is that? The government is allowing, okay, if a government says, don't think that's a democratic government. Okay, maybe a monarch or a dictator. He or she is allowing the uh, people to enjoy the resources. Okay, then they are utilizing the resources. Maybe they will sell it or they will uh, utilize it in its maximum and making money. They will make profit or making money. Okay, basically in the capitalist system, we know that, right or not? Okay, private individuals, sir, they will utilize the resources and they will make money. They will uh, make money. Later, they will become a rich class, a rich class. Clear or not? Obviously, they are able to control the government. They are able to control the government because they have money with them. They have uh, money with them, right? Right or not? So the society is strictly, we can say that the society is uh, divided into the rich and the rich and the poor. That's why socialist says that uh, resources should be controlled by the government, controlled by the government. Okay. So if they are rich class, they are able to control the government. Sir. Definitely the government allows them to enjoy their life, right or not? These are called to be privileges. These are called to be privileges. Basically, the rich sections of the society or rich people in the society, they will enjoy or they are enjoying such kind of privileges. For example, Anil Ambani. Okay. The Ambani group. Ambani group. Okay. Mukesh Ambani. Heard about them, right or not? Right or not? Okay. The Ambani group. So, for these people, is that class security is being provided by the government? Government provided what they provided? Set class security, which is uh, the high class security for them by the government, by the government. So it's a privilege. 
they have money with them right or not so privilege if i am asking to government that it provide a certain class security means they will provide not definitely not right or not no chance for that what do you understood by this class okay z class security what is that c class security what is that ha huh? black cats will be there commandos will be there highly secured cars will be there a convoy of vehicles will be there right or not okay the government will spend for that clear we people ask so the government will provide or not definitely not right okay so this rich people they are enjoying number of privileges this is just for example i told example i told okay not only this number of other uh, what do you can say privileges they are enjoying social economic and political inequalities all over the world have been protected by customs and legal system that prohibited some sections of the society from enjoying certain kinds of opportunities and rewards okay so we can see here this point is important for we people social economic and political inequalities all over the world have been protected by the customs and legal systems okay so this inequalities are related with the customs okay or the inequalities are related with the legal system that prohibited some sections of the society from enjoying certain kinds of opportunities and rewards okay so this legal system is the thing basically denying people to enjoy some opportunities and rewards and rewards can we you give some example for that because of the tradition or because of the legal system people cannot enjoy something can you tell me can you tell me hmm okay think about think about that and tell me later poor people were not granted the right to vote in a large number of countries okay for example okay poor people they are not allowed to cast their vote in different countries women were not allowed to take up many professions and activities we know that the caste system in india prevented people from the lower caste from doing anything except uh, manual labor so lower caste wanted to do manual labor no other work exists in many countries only people from some families could occupy high positions high positions okay this all are uh, related with the customs of the country and the legal systems of the country legal systems of the country number of occupations are the in india also it is reserved only for males not for females not for uh, females okay number of countries were at that okay because of the legal system people don't or they are unable to enjoy the right to vote also right to vote they are unable to enjoy Okay, in India, because of the caste system, the lower caste always want to do manual labor. It seems, okay, no labor, no white collar job for them. It seems, okay. So these are the problems we are able to find in each and every society. Okay, that is related with the legal system, the government, uh, and the customs that exist in the country that creating inequality. Inequality. What type of inequality is a uh, social, economic, and political? All these three types of uh, inequalities. Understanding or not? not only the social society or not only the nature but the government also creating inequalities in a different countries different uh, countries okay attainment of equality requires that all such restrictions or privileges should be brought to an end okay so socialism basically they are against this kind of uh, inequalities okay we want to make an end for this all these things there we want to end it since many of these systems have the sanction of law so all these system what we discussed earlier or in the paragraph uh, that is protected by the law protected by the law it seems okay equality requires that the government and the law of the land should stop protecting this system of uh, inequality so we want uh, a particular or a different laws that is able to eliminate this kind of privileges or you can see here stop protecting these systems stop protecting uh, these systems of uh, inequalities we need rules and regulations we need laws to protect everyone protect uh, everyone from inequalities inequalities clear this is what our constitution does that's what uh, in indian constitution there are number of provisions are there to protect the rights of the right of each and every individual in the country the constitution prohibits uh, discrimination on the grounds of religion we know that we know that 
Indian constitution, there are a number of provisions are there to protect the entire people in the society or entire citizens in the society. What are they? The constitution prohibits uh, discrimination on grounds of religion. This answer for a question. What are the provisions are there in our constitution to eliminate uh, inequality from the society? Inequality from the society. Write down the question. The provision that uh, included in the constitution of India to eliminate uh, discrimination or inequality okay so the constitution prohibit discrimination on grounds of uh, on the basis of religion race caste sex or uh, place of birth place of uh, birth our constitution also abolished the practice of uh, untouchability practice of uh, untouchability most modern constituencies and democratic governments have formally accepted the principles of equality and incorporated it as identical treatment by law to all citizens without any regard to their caste race religion or gender again okay, modern democracies modern uh, democracies almost all the country's governments are giving importance equal importance for all its uh, citizens and the identical treatment means equal treatment by law okay all are equal before the law that's what the new democracy is the principle all are equal before the law okay so they are able to enjoy the life in the society without discrimination related with the caste race religion or gender or gender clear or not so the first paragraph we discussed that uh, there are number of inequalities existed, existed in the society that was protected by the law and customs and uh, customs in different countries but uh, the period of modern democracies uh, almost all the constitutions uh, they are giving equal opportunities for uh, everyone and equal uh, right to lead a good life in the society okay so we can Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is what? We're going to wind up the session now. Okay, so so far, what are the things we discussed from the textbook? Read those things thoroughly. So holidays are there. Utilize the, your time, complete your project, and uh, just submit the working project to me. Okay. Fine, everyone. Anything else? 
Okay, no doubts. If any things are there, means just text me. Bye. Thank you. We will meet in the next video.